Father God, I thank you for the life that you have given me. Lord, I have been feeling lonely lately, and I believe that there will be a perfect companion for me in your time, O Lord. Help me when I get lonely or afraid of being on my own. Help me to feel your presence. I do not need a man to feel value, for I am precious to you. Teach me to be confident in you. I know that you are the great provider, the healer, and the one who makes all things beautiful, as you made me. Allow me to see that I am beautiful as I am, and that I am precious. Help me to give you all my praise with my whole heart, and know that things will happen in your all-knowing time. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. According to the Bible in Genesis 3.24, after he drove the man out, he placed on the east side of the Garden of Eden cherubim and a flaming sword flashing back and forth to guard the way to the Tree of Life. Since then, it has also been said, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. Matthew 11:12. This is the story of ordinary people, men, women, boys, girls, children who through their prayers are trying to take the kingdom of heaven by force. Let's hear their plea. Who are you? My name is Jenna. I have not been given a spirit of fear, but of power, love and self-discipline, as it is written in 2 Timothy 1.7. I am a citizen of heaven, and I have been brought near to God through Christ's blood. Ephesians 2.13 And why have you come here? I have been seeking God for years, and I still have no man. When will God give me a husband? For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for calamity, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29.11 Waiting on God can be quite frustrating. The bitterness of the heart and the condemnations from people can cause any woman to backslide. I have been praying for strength to be steadfast in His presence, grace to continually wait on, grace not to be distracted by the condemnation of people, grace not to be overwhelmed by the success of others. I have been praying that my God will grant me this grace in the name of Jesus. Where are you from? I have come from the land where the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord gives grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those that walk uprightly. Psalm 84.11 Why shall the Most High pay attention to your prayer? I have come today to ask for a husband to my God. I know that when I come to him, he will always answer, though in his perfect time. I pray for the Lord to guide me to a man who fears him and is filled with his spirit and one who will love me with God's love. Someone with whom I can worship and serve the Lord all the days of our lives together. Yet I will trust in God with all my heart and lean not on my own understanding. What makes you different from others? It is written, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make him a helper suitable for him. Genesis 2.18 it is also written that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Proverbs 18.22 And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Romans 8.28 Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Matthew 6.26 The faith of a man lingers in the cloud when hope and expectations are too long. I know my God is not a man to lie, neither a son of man to repent. I know for sure that he will fulfill these promises upon my life. Why shall he who was and is and is to come be involved and interfere in human affairs? He knows already my needs and desires. I am so thankful that he truly does have the answers to lasting love. I pray that he makes me a woman who fears him and loves him with all that I am, and also gives me patience as I wait for my future husband. 
Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. Ephesians 3.20 You who have spoken well and pleaded well, enter. The one who wishes to enter God's presence must abhor what is evil and love what is good. Father, before a word is on my lips, you know each thought, each tear, each joy you see. For I'm your cherished child. I find it hard to comprehend the extent of your love. And I know I rarely see myself the way that you see me. Lord, you know my heart. You know I long for love. My search is for that special friend. For intimacy. For friendship. For someone to depend on. I know you watch me proudly as I live each day, each moment. Please, cause my path to cross with someone you'd like me to be with. Guide my heart to take your hand, to hope and trust in you. Help me be patient until I meet somebody who you know will be a perfect match for me. I'm sure you want the best for your child. The scripture declares that whoever finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from you. I pray that my husband finds me. I pray that you lead us to one another so that we both may find good things. I thank you for blessing me with a husband. I will wait patiently and faithfully for him until we cross paths. Lord, I pray for a God-fearing, humble, gentle, faithful and loving man. May he be one filled with respect for women and protect them in all harm, trouble and afflictions. May you come first in his life and may he be one who leads a family to God. In Jesus' name. So shall it be, my child, according to your faith. If you've prayed for a husband and God hasn't answered, I don't know why he has chosen to answer or not answer in that way. But I do know this. His no often means I'm protecting you from what you don't yet see. Or I have something far better for you than you have thought to ask for. Will you trust that the one who loves you more than any other knows exactly what he's doing with your life? He is loving. He is good. He doesn't make mistakes. And he is your eternal best at heart. Please remember that this story remains fictional, since God's presence is everywhere. He fills heaven with his infinite and eternal glory, majestic power, dominion, holiness, and love. The angels of heaven stand in his presence with awe and worship and rejoicing. So do believers from Adam to Eve to every born-again Christian who loves the Lord God Almighty. Until next time, stay blessed and don't forget subscribe.